difference is having the right coach. Get the best education with Parvati Tejus and make your GCC and government exams. Dreams come true. Download the app now. So before moving on to today's session, I have a few things to share with all my viewers. You might have known about my application in Google Play Store. This application is active for iPhone users also. So uh, ORG code for my application I will be given in, in my description box. And if you have any queries or any queries related with this application or related with my book that is Handbook of MCQs for Radiographers and Radiation Therapy Technologist and this MCQ will be very helpful for competitive exams and even for Kerala PAC exam. So those who wish to purchase this book can directly contact me and the Cost of this book is only rupees one double nine, including the shipping cost. So, uh, with that, I am starting up today's session. So, today it is a part two session for PAC for radiographers. I have discussed few of the questions in part one, and all these questions I have taken from PAC Bank, so it will be very easy for you to qualify the exam. So moving on to the 11th question, linear energy transfer that is LED has a typical value of 0 0.2 keV per mu meter. keV means kilo electron volt. So the options are option A, X-ray, option B, heavy charge particles, option C, cobalt 60, gamma rays and option D, none of the above. The answer is option C. Cobalt 60 gamma ray. So now let's see the explanation. LED means what? LED means the linear energy transfer is defined for charged particles in any medium as a coefficient of DEL divided by DEL, where DEL is the average energy locally imparted to the medium by a charged particle of specific energy. Transversing a distance DL. Approximate LEDs and the RBEs of several types of radiation. So these are the radiation type and the LED in KV per mu meter than RBE. RBE means relative biological effectiveness. So for a LINAC X-ray that is 6 to 15 MeV, it is LED is 0.3. For beta particle, it is 0.3. Cobalt 60 gamma rays, it is 0 0.2. 250 kVp X-ray standard, it is 2. 150 MeV protons, that is therapy energy, is 0 0.5. Neutrons, it is 0 0.5 to 100. Alpha particles, it is 50 to 200. And carbon ions, it is 40 to 90. So, these are the LED of uh, corresponding radiation type. Moving on to the next question, question number 12. Radiation weightening factor. Option A. Reflect the susceptibility of different organs or tissue to carcinogenesis. Option B. Reflect the susceptibility of different organs or tissues to hereditary effects. Option C. Are approximate values of relative biological effectiveness. And option D. All of the above. The answer is option C. That is radiation weightening factor are approximate values of relative biological effectiveness. Now let's see the explanation. The radiation weightening factor is a dimensionless constant that accounts for the relative biological effectiveness RBE of various types of ionizing radiation. The radiation weightening factor is used to calculate the equivalent dose 
by the following equation. The absorbed dose into radiation weightening factor is equal to equivalent dose. The International Commission on Radiation Protection, that is ICRP, has published the latest set of numerical values of radiation weightening factors as below as of 2007. The radiation weightening factor for photons and electrons it is 1. The radiation weightening factor for protons it is 2. And the radiation weightening factor for alpha particles, fission fragments and heavy ions it is 20. Moving on to the next question, question number 30. No occupational exposure should be permitted before. Option A, 18 years of age. Option B, 16 years of age. Option C, 21 years of age. And option D, 25 years of age. The answer is option A, 18 years of age. Now let's see the explanation here. You can see the dose limitation. The part of the body, occupational exposure and the public exposure. So for the whole body, the effective dose for occupational exposure is 30 millisievert in any single year. And in the case of public, it is 1 millisievert per year. Lens of the eye, the equivalent dose is 150 millisievert in an year and 15 millisievert in a year for public. In the case of skin, Equivalent dose is 500 millisievert in a year and for the public it is 50 millisievert per year. Whereas in the case of extremities for hands and feet, the equivalent dose is 500 millisievert in a year. It is uh, for the public it is not given. In the case of pregnant radiation worker, after declaration of pregnancy it is 1 millisievert on the embryo or the fetus should not exceed. Moving on to the next question, question number 14. The least penetrating of ionizing radiation is option A, diagnostic x-ray, option B, alpha particles, option C, gamma radiation and option D, beta particles. The answer is option B, alpha particles. Moving on to its explanation. Alpha is the least penetrating while gamma is the most penetrating. Nonetheless, all three are ionizing radiation. They can knock electrons out of atoms and form charged particles. So the least penetrating is alpha and the most penetrating is the gamma. Moving on to the next question, question number 15. Of the basic interaction of ionizing radiation with matter, the following two effects are important to radiographic imaging. Option A, Compton scatter and photoelectric effect. Option B, photoelectric effect and pair production. Option C, Compton scatter and pair production. And option D, coherent scattering and Compton scatter. The answer is option A, Compton scatter and photoelectric effect. So out of all these interaction, the most predominant interaction is the photoelectric effect. Uh, and once the KV is increasing, Compton scatter can also happen in diagnostic radiology. So moving uh, to the next question, question number 16. The following is an important process in diagnostic studies in which contrast agents are employed. Option A, Rayleigh scattering. Option B, photoelectric absorption. Option C, Compton scattering. And option D, pair production. The answer is option B, photoelectric absorption. Now let's see the explanation. The basic difference between the Compton effect and the photoelectric effect. The Compton effect occurs on the free electrons, that is the outermost shell electrons on an atom. While the photoelectric effect occurs on the bond electrons, that is the K shell. K shell will be having more binding energy since it is close to the nucleus. The soft tissue binding energy of KHL is too low. The elements like iodine and barium are ideal absorbers of X-ray in diagnostic energy range. 
you know that iodine is a contrast agent we are giving in for IVP that is special investigation as well as in CT we will be giving iodine for a special investigation except GIT in the case of GIT we will be giving barium so these are given contrast uh, since they are the excellent ideal absorbers of x-ray in diagnostic energy range for this reason they are widely used as a contrast agent in diagnostic radiology the compton scattering is more predominant in therapeutic radiology so out of this interaction which is more predominant means in diagnostic radiology is photoelectric effect in diagnostic radiology and Compton scattering in therapeutic radiology but in the case of diagnostic radiology once the KV is increasing the Compton scattering may also happen in diagnostic radiology moving on to the 17th patient to limit deterministic effects the occupational dose limit to the lens of the eye is option a 500 millisievert per year option b 150 millisievert per year option c 15 millisievert per year and option d 20 millisievert per year the answer is option b 150 millisievert per year so now let's see the explanation the most restrictive limit is to the lens of the eye which has an annual limit of 150 millisievert or 15 drum the annual occupational dose limits for minors that is less than 18 years of age are 10 percent of the annual dose limit specified for adult workers moving on to the next question question number 18 the ld50 for humans for young adults without medical intervention is ld means lethal dose option a 3 to 4 gray option b 8 to 10 gray option c 3 to 4 milli gray and option d 3 to 4 centi gray gray is the unit of absorbed dose so the answer is option a 3 to 4 gray now let's see the explanation the dose of radiation expo expected to cause death to 50 percent of an exposed population within 30 days that is ld 50 by 30 typically the ld 50 by 30 is in the range from 400 to 450 rem that is 4 to 5 sievert received over a very short period moving on to the next question question number 19 for low energy x-ray beams such as ortho voltage and superficial the absorbed dose in bone is two to four times the absorbed dose in soft tissue for the same exposure because of option a photoelectric effect option b compton effect option c the coherent scattering and option d the pair production the answer is option a photoelectric effect moving on to 20th question the tissues that are more sensitive to heating during mr imaging is option a heart option b liver option c kidney and option d eyes the answer is option d eyes now let's see the explanation maintaining eye safety during an mri scan is important for both the patient and the technician the mag the machine generates intense magnetic field that can damage the eyes if they are not properly shielded so with that i'm winding up today's session hope today's session is very easy to understand and it was very interesting if you have any suggestions you can give in my comment box to include any of the topics or if you have any suggestions you can share with me in the comment box uh, hope you will all join my application along with that if you are interested you can purchase my book so that it will be helpful for you to read uh, and to understand so, so stay tuned till next sunday sunday is the day i used to upload new new videos 
and as i say always if you like all my videos please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon too along with that share with your friends colleagues and please do support me so until then stay safe stay healthy and bye bye